guys so today we are going to learn about map reduce using the book solution so we'll take a data set and then we will uh, uh, map it in different ways for example to find the number of authors or to find the average price per publisher in a lot of variations so we are going to learn about the syntax of map and reduce the concept of map and reduce and a lot of more things in this video so keep watching it till the end let me share my uh, screen and uh, let's get started so right now you must be seeing my uh, uh, console basically which is a mongodb console and i have a collection called as books so let's see what we have here so we have all this data let me do a find one so i'll show you the data set this is our data set what it has is it has a title for example mongodb and python this is some title which is published by authors so the author is a list there are some books wherein multiple authors can publish a book and then we have categories we have a publisher and the price this is our simple data set is so what is our challenge data. or what Let are we going to one. do now is uh, we'll run a simple query and we are going to find uh, count books by author for example a particular author has written how many books right so how would we do that is we will leverage the map reduce function so let me show you real quick uh, the command I am going to explain you that as well. So this is db.run command where we are going to run the command and we are uh, going to run the map reduce this the syntax on a books collection. Then we are defining the map function. So map function what it does or what it is doing is it is going to um, iterate over the authors. So whatever are the author, maybe one, two for any book, it is going to go there and then it is going to uh, define, uh, basically, uh, we have an author here and what uh, based on the index, the author name, and then it will emit that. So this function, this one function, once you run this map, it might emit one or more results based on how many authors are there. So map is going to emit. Uh, so there are few books which have multiple authors. In that case, we will be getting two events emitted. Now a function, map function would emit two things. So first will be the key and the value. So here we are just emitting one. Like for each author, we will be emitting one. And then we are going to reduce it. So this is the counter like uh, for example, Prem Asim has published two books, then this would uh, go like a couple of times, so the counter would get increased. Now in the reduce, we say reduce colon and then we are defining the function, we are starting it with zero. And when we reduce it, we will uh, measure the length of the counter and then we will increment the counter and return the counter in the reduce function and the output would be in line. So let's do that once we do this this is what we see as in line that these are the results so christiana has published three books kyle martin flower has two one so all this we just got it in a fraction of second by using map reduce here they are, now we will go a little bit uh, you know complex example to understand what we can do with this same data set so now we will count um, uh, average uh, book price by a publisher. So uh, what we are going to do here is let me first run that query and then I'll explain you the syntax and everything. So what we did here is we have created a results collection that what the output output is not in line this time. And then we added some more things. So first is when we did map reduce on the collection books, we defined the scope, which is currency in US dollars, USD. Um, and then we define the function, which is now emitting the publisher, because what we are trying to accomplish is uh, average price by the publisher. 
so one publisher might have published one book it's easy we can get the price but if a publisher has published more than one book for example 10 books so we have to get the each book and the price and we have to average it out so uh, first we will uh, you know uh, see in our uh, data set how many different publishers are there and each publisher has uh, you know uh, how many books they have published so for each occurrence we will uh, emit uh, the value as count one and then whatever is the price so you see we have the key in the map function and the value which is another json object which has two parts to it one is like simple the count and the price of that particular book then the same thing is being accepted in another reduce function which is the next phase of this uh, so we take the publisher whatever the publisher and the value which is the json key so initially we would in, uh, consider that the price and the count is zero which means publisher has no books published and the price is zero then we will iterate over the value we will keep increment the count and then also the price so we will uh, you know populate this value the reduce function will reduce in one which is per publisher we would get one data which would exactly define or give us how many number of books has been published and what is the total price for all the books once we have that then we have another thing which is finalized now finalized method what it does is it is grabbing these two values again as it was grabbed in the reduce function uh, and then it would run or it would uh, what i say as add one more attribute in the value which is called as average and the average will be it will add the currency which could be the usd us dollar and then it is trying to get the uh, average price which means the total price divided by the count initial initial we have the currency filter and up to two places that is the average and this would be returned returned means this would actually be added in the value and this comes as or gets inserted in the reserves now you see what do we mean by replace is if you will run it multiple times it won't add or append the data but it would upset the data or it would replace whatever the data was there it would empty it out and then it would add the new fresh records in the results so let's say db.results.find and then let's enter so we see that we have three publishers orally manning and arison and we see the value value is a json object we have the count this publisher has published five books total price is this much and then when we do average price we have the average price of us dollars 26 so this is how it is it is simple it is straightforward and i simply love this um, you, know, you know the way uh, mongo has defined it it's pretty clear you have the map function which would emit the records or the whatever the data points in key value you can reduce it based on that once you reduce it, if you have to do some data amalgamation or add something else, you can do that in the finalize function or the finalize stage, and then you'll get the output. Here is a simple example that you are emitting functions like the values, key value from the map. Once it's accepted by the reduce, it's map means it's making a hash map. So always remember that uh, when you say a map function which means you are trying to map it and map will be key as one value and uh, like key and the value would be some kind of array which is in general the aggregation once that is done then you are trying to reduce the keys and the value uh, and then you will have some conclusion which will go into the output collection so uh, let's take uh, one more uh, you know example to understand it more and what we are going to do here is let's let me uh, uh, first show you the 
this thing and we'll run it. So we are going to run the map reduce on books collection with uh, USD currency map function is same where we get the price and uh, we'll finalize it with the average and we will query the authors. So we are adding a query parameter here, which is what we are doing different here. And then we will do output, which will reduce to results. So author dot last name, and then we are doing the query in this books, wherein if we have Cantaline, uh, sorry, I cannot spell that Higgins, something like that. So we saw it here. We don't have that uh, uh, data basically. So let us first look actually at the result. So we don't have that Cantaline Higgins. So let's insert that record first. We inserted few more records over here. And what are we trying to do again here is we will um, query filter includes the books published by two new authors uh, for demonstration purpose. The limit is also set to two, but it is not very useful as we know for sure that two books have been added. If we run it in MongoDB shell, the document will be reserved. So basically what we are going to do now is let's run this again. We have inserted the records. Now we are trying to run the map reduce. So this has been mapped and then this has been reduced. And um, basically once we have reduced, it would come in the result section. So yeah, uh, so that's what we did. We, we did a extra query on author's last name. And then we uh, uh, basically what we did is we also added another filter. If that author's last name is in uh, like any one of the name, uh, which is Cantalina Higgis. Sorry, I cannot spell this. Yeah. So if this guy is in those uh, like result sets, like in any of the authors, then we are considering this. And based on that, we got the result. So we can like to summarize uh, one more time. What we are trying to accomplish over here is we give a collection and then uh, uh, we can pass the query on what basis we need the data to be uh, you know ingested like the data will be given to the map function so based on this query the data would be given to the map function and then uh, it would emit some of the events and those events or the data would be captured by reduce and then it would reduce to a conclusion uh, whatever is the concluding object, you can always play around some finalization step on that. So you can add some more data, do some more aggregation or whatever way you want uh, to uh, finalize that. And you can always uh, have the output it to a collection. You can always replace it or you could always uh, uh, like overwrite or modify the current collection. So that is what this map reduce thing. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, for uh, any any more questions on MongoDB, NoSQL, or uh, map reduce, reach out to me. My name is Prem Asim Jain. And thanks for watching the video. Please hit like if you like this video, and share and subscribe. Bye. Hope to see you in the next video and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can see uh, all my other updates in live videos in future as well.